This is the story of the fairy tale land Where a flash of blinding magic turns a frog into a prince Here every hero has a princess to kiss And a happy ever after is the way it always ends But something's wrong in fairy tale land It's a crime wave and who can we turn to? Sleeping Beauty isn't beautiful at all. The fairy tale police department. It's all nail biting, crime fighting action. The fairy tale police department. Beauty, my darling daughter. I'm going into the city. Can I bring you back something? Oh, no, thank you, Father. A nice necklace, a, a brooch. Well, perhaps a nice red rose. Ah, how sweet and unspoiled you are, my darling. Of course, Daddy will bring you home the biggest, reddest rose you've ever seen. Oh, no! I forgot Beauty's rose! Thou diest! What? You will die! Oh, please, sir. No, 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 no. It was just one rose. Look, I have a family. A dog. See, look. Beautiful. Uh, yes, and it does tricks. Not the dog, you fool. The girl. You will bring her to me, and she will stay here one week. Never. Then thou diest! Um, you've got a deal. That's the beast! Uh, yuck! We got big trouble with the Beauty and the Beast fairy tale. They're supposed to meet tomorrow, and over the next week, fall in love. Wow! So, what's the problem, Chief? Word is spread throughout the world about Beauty's beauty. Now, the Earl of Yabo, Count Krona, and Viscount Vanite, three of the noblest noblemen in fairy tale land, are on their way to woo her. Good heavens! If they win a hand, the Beauty and the Beast fairy tale will fail. Maybe we'll get lucky with these noble guys. They might be as ugly as this beast. Ooh la la! Bad haircut, bad dresser. Uh, uh. The Earl of Yobbo, he's even prettier than you, Johnny. Give me that! Beauty must fall in love with this beast character within the week. I want you, Johnny and Wanda, to go over there and have a sneaky peek around. Right you are, dearie. How many times am I gonna tell you? I'm the chief of the fairy tale police department. I'm not dearie. So how did this beast get so ugly? Oh, as a matter of fact, I know the whole story. You do? It was his stepmother, Wilma. We went to Godmother School together. Well, once upon a time, many years ago... You're not my mother. You can't tell me what to do. I'm your stepmother, and I'm telling you, you cannot go through life being so mean, snobby, vain, and selfish. Well, I'm never going to change. So there. Oh, yes, you are. I will make you the foulest, ugliest beast that ever trod the earth. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You were saying? <laughs> and you will remain like this till a beautiful woman says she loves you. Lots of luck. I wonder what it's like being ugly. Oh, ask the chief. Wanda! <laughs> oh, Wanda. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you bring me burnt toast for my breakfast? And how dare you let her? And how dare you burn it? Every morning you say the toast is burned, and every morning I say this toast is not burned. This toast is not burned. And another thing, I quit. Me too. May three. We've all got jobs with the jolly green giant. At least we'll get a few laughs there. 
And whom, pray tell, mayst thou be? What? Whither comest thou? Huh? Who are you? Sire, we are looking, S for work, S. What? We're looking for work. What do you do? I'm a maid, and Johnny, uh, Jonathan, here is a butler. A what? And Wanda is a fabulous cook. What a remarkable coincidence. Oh, you got to get lucky sometime, right, dearie? Oh, <laughs> you, butler, answer if thou the door. Huh? Go open the door. Bring the woman and the man in to me. Michaeling Dunkley, boss. Why are you hiding, sire? There is a lady. I... It's none of your business. Oh, Beast Deary, I've seen uglier men than you. My ninth husband, Ernie. Oi! Uh, this is Miss Beauty Footer and her father, Mr. Footer. You have brought the girl. Now go. And leave her with you? <laughs> Never! Then thou diest. Well, bye, darling. See you in a week. Butler, take her to the drawing room. Cook, make her some tea. Maid, serve her. Oh, yes, yes sir. sir. Are you not going to say please? But they are the servants. Servants are people too. Yes. yes. Butler, please take Miss Beauty to the drawing room. Cook, please make her some tea. Maid, please serve her. That's better. Uh, where's the drawing room? Where's the kitchen? Uh, don't I get a butler uniform? Oh, and I want one of those cook's hats. Oh. Uh, I'll sort it out, sire. This way, ma'am. Thank you. She is even more beautiful than I dreamed. Poor father. He had no choice but to bring me here. But the beast has promised no harm will come to me. And you believe him? There is something about the beast that makes me trust him. Almost as though we were meant to meet. Oh, you were. Wonder, quiet. Oh, butler, prepare us thou dinner. I bet he's got secret panels and stuff all over the place. Ooh, how exciting. I said, prepare us thou dinner. We've forgotten the magic word, dearie. I am your master. I am not dearie. Oh, you sound just like the chief, doesn't he, Johnny? Yeah. Remember what I said? The best thou dinner! Didn't hear that last word. Will you please prepare for dinner? Not a problem. Come on, Johnny. Beast, please show yourself. No. I'm too ugly for thine eyes. I have the courage to come here. Have you none? Please? Oh, very well. <laughs> Don't be afraid, Miss Beauty. I feel so sorry for the poor creature, but he threatened my father. He's going to keep me here against my will. Let's go inside, we'll wash your face, you'll put on a smile in a few days, who knows? You might even like the beast. No way! We'll see. Well, at least my wand can cook, can't you, dearie? Wonder Winkles! <laughs> Say, uh, oh. Wanda, could you magic me up a less metallic butler's uniform, please? Not a problem. Wonder Winkle! Not an admiral, a butler! Oh, sorry about that. Wonder Winkle. Oh, very nice, dear. Hey, I always did look good in black. Oh. Wonder Winkle. Huh? Chris, you've got legs. Oh la la. Wonder, make me a proper uniform. Yes, dearie. Wonder Winkle. That's better. Where's the beast? He told me to tell you that he doesn't want to spoil your meal by sitting with you. He's embarrassed by his looks. Oh, it's I who should be embarrassed, running out like that. Have you noticed, Chris, how thoughtful he is sometimes? Jonathan, go fetch him and tell him that since I am his guest, he should play the role of host. You mean you want to eat with him? Please, fetch him. Okie dokie, I'll go get him. Um, uh, anyone know where he is? Here. <gasps> oh, you shouldn't creep around so much, boss. It really freaks everyone out. Maid? Butler, tell Cook we'll be dining together. Please. Mm. I've not eaten a meal with another human being since... since I can remember. <sighs> you 
you wanted to see us, dearie? Don't call me! Oh! Sorry. Now, Miss Beauty will be staying for a week. We know. Mm. And I want everything to... To be perfect, we know. Will you stop interrupting me? Oh. She's always doing that, boss. She's a pain, but what can you do? Listen, I know a thing or two about women, and I can give you a few hints. First of all, women go... Quiet! Ah. I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget my own strength. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. I hope that wasn't you yelling at the poor butler. It's not his fault he's not very bright and that he's a bit silly. D uh, silly? You heard the lady. <laughs> Good heavens. What is it? I'm smiling. Have you made the magic diamond for Count Crony yet, Wanda? Oh, I nearly forgot. Remember, it'll only last for an hour. Wonder Winkle! Cool. Right, Chief. Ooh. Viscount Vanate and Count Crona are on their way. The Earl of Yobbo is delayed. Vanate. <laughs> Crona, Yobbo. Oh, gosh, dearie. How many secret panels are there in this place? I shall crush their bones and make pies with their innards. Oh, yuck. That would be a big mistake, sir. And highly illegal. What is it you wish for Miss Beauty, sire? Her happiness. And then if you send these noblemen away... Or eat them. Or eat them. Miss Beauty will never know if they could have brought her that happiness. But what if one of them is right for her? That, sire, is the gamble of love. Thou art wise. Oh, smart as a whip. Welcome, dearies. You're the Viscount, right? We. Oui. So you must be the Count. Yeah. Come with me. This way, please. Oh, I like the look of you, dearie. And I gotta tell you, that beauty just loves paintings. And it just so happens that the famous artist Denise Drysdale is staying here. Oh, really? So she could whip you up a lovely painting in no time. Take me to her. Of course, dearie. The thing that beauty loves the most are diamonds. Oh, but they are so expensive. It just so happens that a friend of mine all the way from Australia is staying here and he'll let you have one cheap. Wunderbar. Take me to him. Right this way, your importantness. Wonder Winkle. Ah, the Count. I thought I'd just paint a Miss Beauty from a memory. Paint her? But you must paint me. Oh, Johnny was a rat. Pardon? Oh, nothing. Wonder Winkle. Oh, she's gonna love it. G'day, mate. She's a beauty, eh? Oh, it is excellent. Oh, but I am a poor count. How much will it cost? Yeah, you look like a poor count. Tell you what, you buy me a nice cold drink later on and you can have it. Oh, excellent. It is true what they say about you Australians. What? That we're nice blokes? Nay, that you're stupid. <laughs> yeah, we'll see who's stupid, count. I do so love your art. You have so much beauty here. All of it worth nothing compared to one hair on your head. Oh. The Viscount and the Count are ready with their gifts, miss. Go to them, beauty. See if they have your happiness in their hands. Gentlemen. <coughs> Miss Beauty. <coughs> Gentlemen. <laughs> oh, but you are so lovely. You, you, you are so beautiful. You are so beautiful. You are so beautiful. Gentlemen, please. <laughs> Miss Beauty, as a count, I... I... <laughs> Mademoiselle, I wish to have your hand and all of the rest of you in marriage. As proof of my love, I have commissioned a portrait. Of me? How charming! But it's you! 
But of course. <laughs> Before you say a word, Fraulein, allow me to present you with a real gift. I have brought you... That diamond's worth a fortune. Oh, but look at her. She is so beautiful. No one's that beautiful. You're right. I have brought you this. A handkerchief? A sweaty old handkerchief? Oh, it is a bit sweaty. See, he is a fool. And so, sir, are you. Go get him, girl. You, Viscount Vanity, love me so much that you've given me a portrait of yourself. Butler, show the Viscount the door. Not a problem. See, it's that big wooden thing over there. Yeah. She means escort him out. Oh, right. Hey. And you, Count Croner, are so cheap that you cannot bring yourself to give me the diamond in your pocket. Vanité is vain, but you, sir, are greedy and mean. Uh, perhaps a little bit greedy and the bad mean. Out! Show him out, too? Yes, please. At least I have the... the, the onion? Sorry about that, mate. <laughs> Beast, will you stop spying on me and pretending to be a portrait? It's stupid and it's really irritating. Isn't she magnificent? Two down. One to go. The Earl of Yobble. He's the one I fear the most. Fear? You? You don't fear anything. You don't understand, Jonathan. If Miss Beauty comes to love another, I fear I will surely die. I fear that after so many years, I have forgotten how to make small talk. I seem to have forgotten, too. I brought you a gift, too. An onion, a handkerchief, a painting of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> how lovely. Sir, you are full of surprises. <gasps> His greatly magnified magnificence, Lord Palfrey, the 19th oh. Earl of Yobbo. Wow. Wow. Uh, you are the commoner, Miss Beauty Futa. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, well, you seem rather lovely. Do you have all your teeth? Uh, <clears throat> some teeth, sir. A word of advice, maid. Don't speak till you're spoken to and never, <laughs> ever look at me in the face. Uh, that's two bits of advice. And they're both silly. That applies to you too, butler. You'll learn in time, my dear. The best way to treat the little people is to keep them in their place. Where's that? In a cupboard? Uh, <coughs> two bits of advice. Maid, don't speak to me, don't look at me, and don't make bad jokes. That's uh, three bits of advice. Oh, well, if you need any help with your numbers, dearie, you can come see Cookie Wonder. Dearie? Cookie? You can have a cookie later, but only if you promise to eat your dindins. Uh, you... I... Ooh! I won't have this! No, sir. I won't have this. I beg your pardon? Now he's deaf. Well, he must be tired after his long journey. Come on, pal! I, I Come and sit down! How dare you... Oh, unhand me! Don't touch me! You touched me! How dare you touch me! Sir, they were only... Don't defend these morons! They're not morons! Well, Jonathan's a little silly. Yeah, yeah I wish you'd stop saying that. Ooh, he talked! Don't talk! He's looking! Don't look! Will you please stop yelling? I'll yell all I want, you feather-headed commoner! I'm the Earl of your bear! Enough! <laughs> Oh, good heavens. You are ugly, aren't you? I think, Yobbo, if you look inside yourself, you'll see something far, far uglier. <laughs> Pretty words from such a foul face. Say what you wish about me, sir, but if you talk to my servants like that again, you'll regret it. If you raise your voice to his beauty again, it will be the last sound you make. Do you understandeth? I... Do you understandeth? Yes. I shall leave it you two alone. Don't bother. The Earl is just leaving. What? I mean, <clears throat> what? I could never love a man so full of pride. Oh, good girl. But I'm the Earl of Yarbrough. 
You're on your way out of here is what you are, pal. I, I, I say, oh, he's touching me! Oh, no, this is her! She goes home tomorrow! Why haven't they fallen in love yet? Tonight's the night, Chief. Trust me, this meal will be so fabulous she'll melt into his paws. You better be right, or he'll be back direct in traffic. Claude, can you win a girl's heart over with a meal? It's never worked for me, Chief, and I feed them flies. <sighs> Chris, Jonathan, Wanda, tonight's dinner must be perfect. Perhaps. Perhaps what? Perhaps I have a chance to win Beauty's hand after all. <clears throat> Good evening. Oh. You look beautiful. That is my full name. Miss Beauty, you go home tomorrow. I don't want... Don't what? Nothing. Oh. I wish you'd... Pardon? I wish you'd... I wish you a safe journey. Why doesn't he just say it? Why doesn't she? Beastie, dearie, there's a dozen gentlemen at the door. At this hour? Who? Uh, I've come for beauty's hand. We heard Yobbo, Croner and Vanity bummed out. So we figured she's got to go for one of us. And if not us, then somewhere in the land, there's someone fit for Miss Beauty. He's right. I can see it all clearly now. If not to these twelve, then another twelve, then another thousand. They will all seek your hand. Oh, beast! Oh, no! I have looked at love once. Perhaps that was all I was destined to have. But, beast, I... You should have told him. Is it too late? Stay here. He might come back. Johnny, search the basement. I'll search the attic. Wanda, start in the middle. What have I done? Oh, 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 oh. Go! Just go! <laughs> oh, Daddy, he's gone! Uh, 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 gone? Uh, Who? The beast! He's disappeared! Hooray! Oh, yippee! <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <sighs> it's not in there. All this trouble because I took that one teensy rose. Rose? Of course! What did I say? You gave her a big clue. You said teensy. No, Johnny. He said rose. He said rose. Oh. Huh? Oh, my beauty. My beauty. Beast, get up. <clears throat> you mustn't die. If I can't have you, there is nothing to live for. I love you. I love you too. You? Me? I. You. A nice big kiss, and that should just about do it. Oh, oh the curse is lifted. It's so sweet. Oh, I love happy endings. Another case closed. Let's go. Hey, Wanda, do you reckon I could keep this outfit? Makes me look...